it good to see you come around I know you've been lost I'm glad you got found Cause I've been a little lost myself Found an old picture of you on my phone Got a new feeling now I won't let go Till I can I can tell you for myself Um, sorry that we had to take like a one and a half week hiatus or something. There is just no way anything would have gotten done and you would have been so mad at me and it would have not been good. So I am currently in the process of catching up. Technically today was supposed to be the first day of school as it is January 6th, 2014. What is this? But as we do live in Michigan, there is a double snow day, which means no school tomorrow either. Yay! so excited for that because I'm just so not ready to go back to school. It's like I'm in college now. Can I just not do anything? I have a feeling I'm gonna fail some classes. I, I just like my drive level is so so low. Anyways, okay I'm gonna keep this under 10 minutes I swear and I'm going to try and recap like the entirety of my break. Okay so the last time we talked was like when I saw you and that was before Christmas so things that happened okay um my Christmas we had a crazy big Asian party it was like a two-day event yes my grandma cooked a bunch of food so everyone came over for Christmas Eve I saw all my cousins my cousin Victor brought his Xbox one which is actually a lot cooler than I thought it would be um I've been addicted I've actually my new love is Assassin's Creed 4 the new one with like the the pirate theme which is so so cool I've been playing for like I don't even want to count the hours anymore but I'm 40% through the game I used to be like really bad at it but somehow I got used to the controls and now I'm like chaw kicking everyone's ass and like he has these blades that like come out of his wrist and he's just like which and then he kills people in bushes yeah so that's been fun um, oh, by the way, I'm in my basement right now. Say hi to Nellie. Nellie, say hi. Oh, hi Nellie. I know, my baby. She doesn't, she loves my popcorn, that's why she's over there. Um, okay, what else? So then we did gifts and everything. I was like, so on it this year with Christmas presents. Oh my god, I was so broke afterwards. Okay, why is my camera freezing? Okay, I was so broke afterwards, but I was like, on it man got my mom all these nice like bath thingies you know like lotion and soap and moisturizer and then um got all my cousins presents i got the boy this super awesome lego thing i ended up getting him a, a sith in interceptor that was a thing i don't know if it's like a thing thing but it looked super cool and i was like okay i'm gonna get it and i found it on sale and i was so happy and then my grandma i got her a coach hat so I'm like officially the new favorite grandchild, so yay for that. Um, I got like $550 cash for Christmas because huge Asian families, they do have their benefits. And a really nice pair of snow boots that um, I really needed because my old ones were kind of dying. They were the ones that I tried on, the really tall knee-high ones from North Face, yeah. And um, the boy got me a bracelet and earrings to match, which was really sweet. And then he quoted a Walt Whitman poem in my Christmas card. And I was like, who are you? Like, you just quoted Walt Whitman in my Christmas card. And it just made me really happy. Um, and then he jetted off to Punta Cana. So he's been gone for like 10 days. And I get to see him tomorrow. And I'm so excited because I haven't like seen him. And we haven't really been able to talk since, you know, like Wi-Fi. So we've talked like once a day and maybe Skyped a few times. So that's exciting. And oh, speaking of going places, I went to Chicago, as you may have seen from some of the photos I posted, but I went with um, my camp girlfriend who lives in Michigan, and we met up with my other camp girlfriend who lives just outside of Chicago, and it was awesome. And I think I have some footage of like us recording our like reunion although we get really excited in the middle and i'm holding the camera so i think it like faces the ground at some point i'll just roll that and see how that goes so here goes we're waiting oh. for katie hey yeah we're in chicago why are we in chicago how are we in chicago Can I? well i mean yeah we did drive here i guess oh my god she's gonna walk through the door and it's gonna be amazing are you ready for this no she hasn't texted me yet so technically she's not gonna walk through the door for a little while but Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so she said she's like two minutes from here. 
one minute? I don't know. I was trying to put up three, but it's no. Okay. 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 And so we're waiting. You see, there's the door. There's the door. That that's a thing. Okay. I think people are walking. <laughs> they think we're so weird. Okay. So I'm gonna take a video of like her when she walks in. Yeah. And you'll be able to hear a scream from. Okay. 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 This is happening. Okay. Katie. Katie, where are you? She said she's walking up to the door. I'm just. I'm just. Videotape. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Wait. 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 I, I videotaped. <laughs> yeah, we kind of looked like psycho stalkers for a while in the lobby, but it was so much fun. I was so happy to see them. Like, I don't, I don't know how we got so close. Just we've kept in touch and everything, so that's been great. Hopefully, um, she can come back in February and we can like see all our guy friends. Although one of them lives in China, it's a bit of a long shot. Although he may go to U of M, so that would be pretty cool. Um, anyways, okay, other things that happened. You know, after the whole Chicago thing, things just kind of calmed down, I guess. Like, I didn't really do much. Oh, New Year's was fun. New Year's was really fun. Um, I think I, like, Snapchatted you, like, super late at night. But um, I just had one of my girlfriends come over. We hung out. And then we stole the rest of the bottle of champagne after everyone went to sleep. <laughs> so that was kind of fun. We just got buzzed in the basement and played Xbox and watched movies. That's how everyone should spend their New Year's. Um, oh! new job did i tell you i mean i did tell you like before break that i had kind of been hired and everything but i actually love it so much i kind of do like it better than my kumon job but kumon's still like you know it's good and it pays 50 cents more actually so you know there's that but um i work at the sports club um the one that's kind of near my house i don't know if i'm just gonna like omit the name i guess but i work at like the front desk so i'm not really like a secretary phone person but like when people come in I check them in and I book tennis courts and I give them schedules and just answer all their questions and stuff so every time the phone rings I'm like hello service center this is Emily how may I help you and yeah it's it's actually really intense because some of the people are a little bit insane like it's a lot of you know middle-aged adults and then you sometimes get you get the um, old couples who come and work out together, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen like in my life. And then sometimes you get the super attractive teenage guys coming to work out. And when I log them in, I can see their last name and their info and their address and their phone number. Not that I ever record any of it. I like promise I'm totally normal. I don't stalk people. No, I don't. <laughs> but um, it's like really exciting, I guess, because I've been going there since I was, I don't know, like 10 or 11 or something like that for tennis. So I know all the tennis coaches and the trainers and like everyone there knows me. So it's pretty cool. I don't know, like people are really friendly and it's just a really upbeat atmosphere. Never really boring. Like sometimes at Kumon it gets a little slow sometimes. But come here, baby. Come here. Nelly, come here. Come here. Come here and love me. Nelly. Nelly, sit. Nelly, sit with me. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, just, just sit with me. Oh, there's my baby. Okay. Okay. Oh, nope. I don't think she wants to sit with me. Nelly! Nelly, what are you doing? No, don't sit on my computer. It's been a bit of a struggle for her because she has to go outside to go to the bathroom and everything. Except it's covered in like two feet of snow and it's taller than she is. And so she had to like dig a little hole right in front of the door. And so then she just comes right back inside. Your life is so hard because you're so small, Nelly. But it's okay, I know how you feel. I'm only 5'2". Everyone thinks I'm so short. It's okay. That's what heels are for. Um, what else? I think I've forgotten how to, like, do math and basically any other core academic. I just, I just, I had all these things I wanted to do over break. Like, I wanted to draft my Shakespeare paper and, you know, kind of brush up on my calc and study for my gov final. But, of course, what did I do? I slept. I've been sleeping a lot. Like, I go to bed, I go to bed kind of late, like 1 or 2, but then I sleep until, like, 11 o'clock. And so it's just, it's so much sleep. And I get so sleep deprived during, the, like, the actual school week, so I don't know how my body's going to handle that. I was feeling kind of like bad today because I apparently like had low blood pressure. My mother got all concerned. She thinks I'm anemic. 
Although I'm beginning to think the whole like 1200 calories a day thing is not going to work out because apparently the Nazis determined that 1200 calories is the bare minimum that your body needs for brain function. So I should probably like up that number a little bit, but it's just like New Year's resolutions and like getting in shape and I'm going to go to Hawaii in February and be wearing a bikini and stuff. And then at some point during my shopping adventures in the mall, I walked by like a Victoria's Secret store and just was looking at the posters and something inside me just like like snapped or something and I was like yes this is going to happen but we'll see how long this lasts um currently I'm actually I was like kind of unmotivated to do anything but I was kind of binging on the Carrie Diaries yeah I know it's like my guilty pleasure I shouldn't watch it but I do because sometimes I'm just in a mood for you know it's like when I'm in a mood for Taylor Swift, you're just in a mood and you just gotta do it. But um, Project Free TV is being kind of dumb, so I'm kind of letting it buffer and getting things done at the same time, so hopefully I'll like be able to annotate and stuff. That I should like never say that again because I say that literally every single video and like do nothing about it, but I like have to now because it's just, it's accumulating so much. Speaking of things accumulating, guess who is almost done with their portfolio oh my god i went in for like at least 10 hours this break like straight not straight like two days over the span of two days but oh my god i just did so much work but i really want to show you my photo sometime like i don't know how to like get photos into the video although you do owe me a lesson on how the hell to use movie maker or like i can find some other not that expensive or possibly illegally downloaded like video system thing because I don't really know how to work. Nelly! Nelly no. Okay. But yeah I want to show you them. They actually look really good and it was fun because I got to like model my own jewelry since we usually have like someone do it like someone else in the studio but she wasn't there over break so I was like okay let's just do that. So it's fun. Um, 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 um. Oh, well, I'm just really pleased with, like, the shopping I've done over break, so I'm just gonna recount the tales of things I've bought. Well, I got my snow boots, and so that was great. Um, they were a gift from my mother, and then she also, while we were in Chicago, um, I've been using her North Face, and so then she's had to use, like, her old ski jacket or something, because I'm a terrible daughter and I, like, steal all her clothing. And so she saw this Michael Kors jacket that was 280 bucks, and she found it for, like, 75 bucks. So she got that, so that was pretty cool, and um, I got a Michael Kors bag. It's like one of those big tote bags because I've been needing- Nelly! Nelly, what are you doing over there? Get over here! Nelly, come here. <laughs> I've been needing like a big bag because I can't just carry my messenger bag everywhere. It gets really heavy, so just like for like everyday use. And everyone carries those long shawms and stuff, and I'm like, no, I can't do it. And I'm not really a Vera Bradley person. And then also I see those huge Louis Vuitton bags and like that's a thing, but I'm not that affluent with my two jobs I'm working. So I found this really nice Michael Kors bag. It's like this big. Oh, my computer is being all freezy. Okay, let's wait. Okay. It's like this big. They're kind of big and it's made of that same canvasy material as the Longchamps bag. And so I got it on sale. Then I got this shirt along with another graphic tee at um, Urban Outfitters and a maroon lace crop top and and oh best thing ever so I went shopping with Brandy I should have taken footage of it I really should have I don't know why I forgot to but I went shopping with Brandy and we went to BCBG and she got this amazing dress oh my god it looked so good on her it was like tight and black and backless it was so cool and I tried on a dress there and I was like oh my god it's so pretty but I can't so I went online to look at it and it was 40% off extra 20% off of that and then I found a coupon online for 10% off that, and it was free shipping. So the thing was like $368, and I purchased it for 168 And that was like including tax and shipping, and I'm like, I saved $200, and it's a BCBG dress, and it's so pretty. And like, I can't buy anything forever now, but that's okay, because I'm getting my paycheck for my sports club job, and it's going to be like 99 bucks. So yeah. Um, and yeah, so I guess I have another snow day to look forward to tomorrow. I should probably do some homework, maybe, no, 
and um, seeing the boy tomorrow, so that'll be fun. And now I am going to go see if my episode of the Carrie Diaries has buffered, and it probably hasn't, so then I'll do some annotating, and I, don't, I think I'm going to like text you once this is uploaded, because it'll be a lot cooler if I'm like, hey, check the leftovers, and you're like, she finally did something! Except your response is probably going to be so much sassier, like, girl, you finally did something, except not as black sounding, because you're not. Okay, I'm going to go now. Okay, bye.